Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. It is Monday. That means it is market outlook time. We're kind of slowing down, right? We're slowing down in the year of FIFA Ultimate Team. We're headed into the summer. There's not going to be that many market outlooks left. So enjoy them while they last. But we got to talk about mar the summer heat market and what is going on with this game this week and some possible moves that you can even make. Uh, maybe right now with some prices being a little bit low still from the weekly sell-off talking about a few of those things and also the content that we saw on Sunday uh, that was released into FIFA, what that did to the market and what other things we could see this week because it is a big week this week on FIFA because the best of packs are going to be changing. More cards are going to be coming out, probably more objectives, more SBCs. We got our first uh, summer showdown upgrade, which hasn't actually happened yet. And supposedly people, uh, a lot of people are asking about this. When is this Diaby going to upgrade? We don't exactly know, but uh, I think that it might be around 6 p.m. UK today on Monday. So we might see the upgrade today on Monday. One week ago today was when we first got these players as an SBC. So the Diaby and the Boetius were released last week on a Monday. So we might see another showdown SBC or set of two SBCs released today so they could pick some big games again upcoming for this week uh no more bundesliga because the bundesliga is over but syria la liga and uh, the prem are still going so we could have some we could have a summer showdown sbcs this week or a matchup for summer showdown uh hopefully today i would expect to see that i think on monday of today uh and then uh other things that could be coming this week we'll kind of cover that in this video as well i mean continually uh, consistent content from EA. Something has been coming out in the game every day with pack supply SBCs, with some sort of like party bag or guaranteed pack, and or a summer heat player. Um, one thing that I was kind of interested in is we didn't have any voting today on Sunday because last week on Sunday we had voting for an SBC we got Tuesday, and then we had also voting on Tuesday for an SBC that we got on Thursday, which was Christian Eriksen. So, or no, no, we had voting on, we had a voting on Tuesday and then a Thursday SBC and then a, and another, another voting on Thursday for Saturday. So we've had three votes so far. We've had Firmino, we've had Jovic, and we've had Ericsson. So I was kind of surprised that we didn't get another vote today because I think we got one on Sunday of last week. I think we got the, the Firmino, no, the first vote, I don't even remember what the votes were. It was either the first vote was Firmino on Sunday last week or that was no, the first vote, yeah, Firmino, last week on Sunday, I think. Anyways, regardless, I would expect maybe a voting today on Monday, and I would also expect maybe some sort of a summer showdown. That might be the content from EA today. I just, I had the votings out of whack. But there is one thing that is coming today, or that will be coming soon, and I, not a lot of people are talking about, but we need to cover it right here. Tiered engagement reward packs. Through June 28th, there are also going to be additional opportunities to earn rewards based on how many times you opened uh, logged in over the course of summer heat these rewards will be determined based on how many session days you accumulate during the following date ranges so the first date range has ended june 17th to june 28th today is the 29th so there should be i don't know if they're going to do the the same packs again uh maybe they're going to tell us what the second round of the engagement rewards is going to look like but it looks like we will be getting uh, some free packs which is dope which is cool thank you ea we'll take that uh more of those please and then, of, this is the other thing I wanted to point out. There is a bit of a discrepancy, what's new, between the EA website for the best of re-releases of cards and packs for batch number one or release number one. There is a discrepancy because this website says July 3rd as the time date for when these cards will be re-released. So that is Friday, right? That is this coming Friday. But if you go inside of FIFA Ultimate Team and take a look at the little info page, which we looked at in yesterday's video as well, it says three days, 14 hours from right now, which calculates out to the second or Thursday at 6 p.m. UK. So regardless of whether that is, um, it's going to be Thursday or Friday. I would imagine that a lot of times before the website has been right or what they tweet has been right and not the in-game um, message. I think back to like Man of the Match cards, Fanta cards. The Fanta cards would say they're in packs for this certain amount of time, but they'd actually be in packs an extra day. So I would maybe expect it to be Friday, but we're really not sure until EA um, would say something or change the dates in game, which I'm not even sure if they're aware of, of that mess up right now. Maybe they're just waiting until Monday to fix it, but 
that is something that is going on right now. So I also want to talk about some cards on this game at the moment because a lot of people have started to ask, can I invest in some of the batch one cards that are going to be going back out of packs while batch two comes into packs? And then also people have been selling off these cards that could be in batch two. So there's been a very, very hefty weekend league sell off on some places of the market. And I want to talk about that as well and which cards are you can look at and which cards you want to stay away from. So speaking of cards that are in batch number one that I'm kind of uh, a fan of, uh, stuff that you could look at possibly buying in the next couple days before they go back out of packs. I From batch one, I think the only thing that I would be super interested in would be the shapeshifters because they have done really well all year out of packs. They're very popular cards. Their position changes and they're just kind of rare on the market. Even if you compare price on a lot of these different shapeshifters that I've been looking at, or if you look at their supply, yes, they have a lot of supply now because they were just in packs for uh, two extra weeks, basically. Um, but a lot of these cards still, I mean, if you compare price on a card like this and then go compare price on somebody else, there's a lot of, uh, there's still, you know, a not a huge amount of supply on these cards. Uh, it's kind of interesting and kind of weird. Like sh this uh, Shapeshifter Marcelo, this is really not a lot of supply for this card. Six, seven pages, like that's not crazy at all at this stage of the game, especially. So I'm kind of intri intrigued on some of these cards. Can you invest in them? I would be very careful investing in, in these cards. Um, a lot of times when you invest in stuff that has been re-released back into packs, it doesn't do too well. But I feel like there's a decent amount of enough hype in the game right now for me to say, yeah, if you want to take a chance, you could, I think, buy a few of these. The ones that I think I would focus on would be shapeshifters uh, that are very meta, very popular, and especially like they have to be uh, super meta and super popular because right now with people's teams and everything that's happening in FIFA, there's a lot of French links, Brazil links, um, and it, it's just got to be really, really meta, right? So like Marcelo, I don't mind. This Atal, I don't mind because a lot of people use him as a super sub. And there's a massive price gap difference between this card and the team of the season. Team of the season is 780K. This card's 50K. So I was I bought one of these today. I think like 40K actually. I think I got one of these at like maybe it was 43,000 coins or 45K. But I picked one of these up and I threw it in the club because I thought, hey, maybe in a week or two, this is a very popular super sub. He might rise up five, six, seven, maybe 10,000 coins. That'd be a decent profit there. But like Messi, Marcelo, Atal, Ben Yedder, David Luiz, Marcelo, maybe Lucas out of the set one. And then set two, um, Conte, Ribéry, um, Vinicius, Ronaldo, you know, maybe Richarlison as well. Some of these guys I do think will have a little bit of a pop-up out of packs just because I feel like there's enough hype right now in the game and these cards are good enough uh, that people would still, um, you know, have some demand for them coming out of this promo. Now, the only thing is there's a lot of impending um, items that could be released on the market. So a lot of people have been asking me, and this is kind of getting into the talk about the cards that are still coming back into packs, like a batch two, foot birthdays, foot future stars, road to the final cards. Those are all items that we could see released back into packs on Thursday or Friday of this week. There's already been a lot of sell-off on a lot of these cards. And I want to show you that now by checking and look at the flipping squads. Um, but I just want to kind of preface all of this by saying one thing, because uh, we saw a lot of drops in price this weekend on cards that got hit because there was an objective player or a uh, SBC that was released. that was a similar position for the, like a substitute good, basically a substitute good um, on the market. Think of like the SAR, the Malang Star SBC, a French center back. On that day, when Melangstar was released, Friday, a lot of French center backs went down in price. Varane went down in price. The um, headliner Varane went down. Uh, a couple of the French icon center backs went down in price. Just because that SBC was there, it was very cheap. There is a very high possibility of more of that happening, especially with all the new players that we're getting. Every showdown, summer showdown SBC, every summer heat fan vote, every just summer heat SBC they put out. Um, especially a guy like Usman Dembele or Leng Le or, you know, some of these other cards that people have been talking about that could possibly get in. Even a guy like um, uh, a Cavani, right? Cavani wouldn't affect too much on the market, I don't think. 
that would be more a thing that you could maybe invest in like a Di Maria for a link investment. But um, I'm, I'm just saying that there's a lot of possibility that a card could come out if you're investing in some of these players, whether they're out of packs or in packs, a card could come out into this game that would affect the price of those drastically just because of um, the pull that these Summer Heat cards have and the upgrades that they're getting as well. So this Griezmann has done a ton from where he was uh, beginning the weekend, 528,000 coins down to 444,000 coins, dropping a lot. Part of this is due to, yes, probably the Bruno Fernandez. Uh, and all the other objectives that have come out because he is a center attacking mid. Fernandez is also a center attacking mid. Um, but uh, I would, and obviously Firmino as well coming out probably dropped his price. But if you look around the rest of the market, a lot of these cards have dropped off a lot. Hazard's down like 100K almost, I think. He was 660 last week. Now he's 560. Yeah, he was in the 660s last week. Now he's down almost uh, 100K from that. Foot birthdays are dropping big time. St. Maximin was 1.2 million coins. And this is one that a lot of people want to talk about and are curious about. He was 1.2 on Friday. If Usman Dembele comes out, and this is a big if, right? If Usman Dembele comes out, you are going to see people on this game, like, especially if it's an objective, this Usman, or this St. Maxman card is going to just absolute tank in price because the Usman Dembele SBC would have a way better stats than this card. Yes, this card would still be OP. He's going to be going back into packs, which is part of why this, this sell-off is happening regardless. Um, but again, that's what I was speaking on. Like if there's an if a player comes out, there's a high chance that some of your cards could be affected. Like team of the season and team of the year Messi, if an Usman right wing came out, I feel like would be majorly, majorly affected uh, on this game. So that's just stuff that you kind of have to think about this week. Um, if you haven't sold some foot birthday cards yet, I know it might seem like it's too late because a lot of them have started dropping. But honestly, I would consider taking the cash because you saw the types of drops that we had um, with the cards that are in packs right now. The Batch 1, the Shapeshifters, the Headliners. Musa Sissoko is still 240,000 coins. This card is probably going to be like 170 or 180 uh, right away when they get released back into packs. Just because a lot of packs are open, these cards are going to drop a lot more. And everything, on the, everything else on the market, because of these stuff that's going back into packs starts to just kind of drag the whole market down as a whole uh on some cards that are not super duper meta and super duper uh desired for weekend league squads and stuff like that just starts to kind of bring the whole market down as a whole because um everything else is just getting cheaper that team of the season has done that to an extent already now all these cards getting re-released is going to continue to do that so if you have foot birthdays honestly i would still cash out even though they're down some i would still cash out some of the really high tier meta cards like saint maximin and Mbappe, if we don't get any like Usman or crazy uh, center attack in mid, striker right mid that would affect these guys' prices, the lowest that this guy is going to get and the lowest that um, St. Maximin is going to get, if there's no other summer heat players like an Usman, would probably be in that first hour or two of uh, Thursday or Friday, whenever these guys come back into packs, uh, when they release those cards back into packs. There's going to be an another round of panic on those. And that will be a potential for you to actually buy those cards, I think, for the short term, if you want to buy them for the upcoming weekend league. We'll talk about that more in the week. But if you have these cards, I would take the cash. Honestly, I would at this stage. If there's anything that I would say you could buy right now, besides um, making a bit more risky play with some of like the headliners, maybe, or the shapeshifters that I mentioned before, that's still a bit of a risky play just because of all the supply they've gotten. A bit of a less risky play is looking at some of these team of the seasons that have dropped out of the weekend league that uh, are very popular that a lot of people are using um, for whatever reason. Uh, if you want a weekly trade, like chemistry style flipping is still working this week just to, to think through some popular trading methods. But a lot of these guys fluctuate during the week. I remember last week, um, Lala's right back card. He had been 390,000 coins during the weekend league. This guy right here was 390. He went down to 330, 320 on Sunday night, Monday morning, when, when like the time when you'd be watching this video. And then he went back up to like 370, 380 during the week before rewards even. And then he went well over 400,000 coins with the SAR SBC that came out and is still out. So just kind of watch some of these cards, right? Just go over to Footbin, scroll through some of the TOTS cards. If it's a really meta card, and especially if it's a really rare one like this Aubameyang, these cards fluctuate a lot. So just kind of watch that. Some of these uh, out of packs, top five, 
top five league team of the season cards are where I would look for this. Only top five leagues, because I do think as a part of batch two, the lower level league team of the season. So like the Air Divisie, the CSL, the um, Latin America Tot Squad. I think those cards are going to be re-released as a part of batch release two. So that's just something to think about uh, coming on later this week as well. One thing EA also did on Sunday was they re-upped. They basically re-released for another week the 81 plus double and the 82 to 88 upgrade, which is a dub in my opinion. Some people said they've nerfed the pack weight, uh, but I wonder if that was in preparation for the cards that were going to be in packs for this next set, batch two. If you thought packing players was cool, packing all the cards that are in packs with shapeshifters, headliners and stuff was fun. Uh, this last week and a half or so, it's going to be even more fun this next week. I'm going to be doing more upgrade packs because of all the foot birthday cards. A lot of you guys are probably going to want to do some of those as well. The fact that I'll have a chance to maybe pack uh, a Tots Tellers and Tradable or Tots Promes and Tradable later this week, or maybe like a foot birthday and Bape, which I, I don't really need for my account technically, but foot birthday hazard, um, Sissoko, I would like a foot birthday Sissoko and Tradable for, for my Spurs and Tradable club. Uh, you know, foot birthday, Bale, Pugba, uh, Lacazette, Di Maria, those types of players, Van Dyke, uh, could be packable from the 81 pluses and from 82 to 88s, depending on the rating and stuff. So that's why I see more value in these upgrade packs, hopefully, depending on the pack weight this week in FIFA. So again, we are getting continuous pack supply SBCs. Uh, let's look at high, uh, high rated fodder at the moment. They're trying to like supply the market with these cards with all these tradable pack supply SBCs. We're getting like one per day, but fodder is pretty high. So there is some people that are starting to look at cards that could be in batch two. So future stars players, foot birthday players, um, they're looking at these cards and starting to invest in their gold cards out of packs. If they're low enough, that to me is an interesting investing strategy because yes, there's a lot of uh, SBCs that are happening during this promo. But chances are those players are already very inflated in price. So I'd be very, very careful with that. If that's something that you're interested in, like Tiago, I don't think he would be out of packs. Casemiro, unless they put community team of the season in packs, I don't think. I guess maybe community team of the season could be in packs. So these guys could be a look, I guess. But like Bernardo Silva, he doesn't have any other special cards. Uh, I don't think, does he? He's just got like the, no, nah, he's just got the team of the year. Yeah, so nothing there. Or Fernandinho as well. It just has a... Uh, yeah, so I'd be very, very careful if you're looking into some of this stuff. Um, you know, for other cards that have specials. Just be careful with that. Uh, but that is something that a lot of people are talking about right now. I guess people have talked about like Thomas Rodriguez as an out-of-packs investment because of his screen card that could come back into packs. There's something to think about. But I want to talk about fodder for a second because I think there's some cards in this cheapest players by rating page that are semi-investable because of their being in packs. One guy that we talked about earlier today on stream was Steven Bergwin, left wing with the good nationality for Lynx. I know he's in the, the Dutch league still, they're busy with this inform, but even like Nico Schultz, one of the cheapest 86 rated cards in the game. This guy is gonna go out of packs. He gets incredible Lynx for SBCs. I think there's a very high possibility that some of these cards rebound um, later on, the SBC fodder cards that are a part of batch one could be investable this week. Renato Sanchez would be somebody that I would definitely buy one of and put in my club. 15K. Like, it's kind of a buy price for me on these 86s. Uh, you know, especially for some of the positions that these guys have for SBCs. Um, like, Cornet was one of the cheapest 86s earlier tonight. I like that. At, at the very least, if you have some coins, there's going to be more SBCs coming during this promo. Buy one, put it in the club. Gundawan, that's a money card right there. That's going to be profitable. Uh, you know, some of these informs are getting cheap. I don't know if you invest in the informs because there's going to be inform requirements. Tots cards are very cheap and they're higher rated. So people are using those more than informs, I feel. But still, they're informs. They're going to be out of packs. So it's not a bad look in my opinion. This Madison card, 21K for an English center mid. Very good linking for SBCs. Jared Moreno. One of the cheapest 88s as a right wing. Right wings, right back, center back, center mids. That's where you want to look. De Young, that's a great buy. Delaney is a good buy in my opinion. So maybe you stock the club if you want to invest in some fodder. You look at some of these out-of-pack special cards because they could see rises in the next couple of weeks, especially if they have good links, good nationalities um, for the upcoming 
SBCs because we are not done with the summer heat content by any means. Actually, seeing that Nico Schultz card has got me kind of curious. I might go snag one of those right now. Don't mind if I do. Uh, what was he like? 17k squad battle rewards tonight might have popped these guys' prices down a little bit. So we're gonna get more pack supply SBCs during this week. So you'll be able to make buys like this throughout the week. There's gonna be a lot of supply on these. Um, with open bids and stuff too. So it looks like people are buying up these Nico Schultzes for under 18,000 coins. Man, I should have bought that one right there, man. I should have bought that one for 17K. But that's just something to think about this week because a lot of this market right now is revolving around SBCs and stuff like that and links as well. Like that's why I was looking at that Mandanda, right? I was looking at this Mandanda team of the season card. This guy was like 40K when he was in packs, but the lack of of French goalkeepers in FIFA is always, always a big problem. He was extinct at 150K this weekend. He was back down to 120 at some points today. He's already risen back up. That's what I'm talking about, about the weekend league sell-off on some of these cards. All it takes is like one hour of a couple people undercutting, and then boom, you have some very, very viable prices in some of these. Hakimi last night was 190. Now he's 203, 208. So just watch for some of the sell-off this week. I expect more SBCs. Um, and it's really going to be interesting to see what they do for objectives, because I feel like we're set on objectives right now, at least for the next couple of days. I, I honestly feel like we are set. I'm going to buy this Holland because that is probably going to be 470, 480 at some point later this week. And I will gladly take a nice little flip right here on this card. Let's go like 472, 470. Let's go on the seven, man. 477. See if I can flip that card later this week for a little bit of profit. Um, but I think we're set with objectives for a while. So I think the Kubo SBC is the, the the next expiring SBC, and that is four days left. So I don't know if we're gonna get new ones in the near near future. So that's something to kind of think about, I guess. Still 18 days left, as you see up here, uh, to complete Zlatan, Bruno, and Mendy. I'm actually really close on Mendy really, really close. Just a few games left. Zlatan, I got to score some more goals. Bruno, I still have some time I need to work on, but I'm going to be working on these this week during the week just to have them in the club and to, uh, you know, spice up the team, I guess, a little bit more. The best part about this promo is they're constantly releasing new cards, juice statistics, and it's a really, really fun promo. So I hope they continue that for the next couple of weeks with this summer heat promo. A lot of stuff to talk about market wise. We're probably going to get more like guaranteed packs. Maybe they'll re release guaranteed moments or guaranteed flashback, which wouldn't be very hype. Uh, and I would maybe expect another party bag SBC this week as well. So that's kind of the stuff that's going to be happening this week in FIFA Ultimate Team. If you enjoyed it, smash a thumbs up, comment down below if you have any questions, and subscribe to the channel if you're new. It's been Nate, the Foot Accountant. Catch you guys later. Peace out.